The Dangerous World Tour was the second world concert tour by American singer Michael Jackson. The tour was sponsored by Pepsi-Cola. All profits were donated to various charities including Jackson's own Heal the World Foundation. The tour ran from June 27, 1992, to November 11, 1993. After his appearances in Mexico City, Jackson abruptly cancelled the remainder of his tour, which was scheduled to run through the rest of the year. He cited his addiction to prescription painkillers after surgery, as well as exhaustion after dealing with the recent child sexual abuse allegations against him. He described a lawsuit filed by the family of a young boy and an accompanying criminal investigation as an attempt at extortion. Topic. Background. In January 1989, Jackson finished his Bad Tour, his first as a solo artist, which had grossed over $125 million. Initially he planned not to tour again and concentrate on making albums and films. Following the release of his eighth studio album Dangerous in November 1991, a press conference was held on February 3, 1992 at Radio City Music Hall in New York City to announce the Dangerous Tour. The event, attended by 200 people, was organized by Jackson's sponsor Pepsi with the artist also present. Jackson explained his sole reason for touring once more was to raise funds for his newly formed Heal the World Foundation to aid children and the environment. He aimed to raise $100 million for the charity by Christmas 1993. It was revealed that Jackson planned to perform across Europe, Asia, Latin America, and Australia, with no dates in the United States or Canada. Jackson commented, I am looking forward to this tour because it will allow me to devote time to visiting children all around the world, as well as spread the message of global love, in the hope that others will be moved to do their share to help heal the world. Topic. Preparation In June 1992, a Russian Antonov and 124 cargo jet, then the world's largest operating airplane, was booked to transport the equipment and stage set from Los Angeles to London for the opening European leg. However, problems regarding its civilian aircraft certification led to Jackson using a Federal Express Boeing 747 instead. Upon arrival, the equipment was transported across Europe by 65 lorries. The cargo included 1,000 lights, 10 miles of electrical cable, 9 video screens, and 168 speakers. Around 2 tons of clothing was transported. The outfits were designed by Michael Bush and Angelino's Dennis Tompkins, who worked with Jackson to gain an idea on what he wanted, and aimed to bring his ideas to life. Two outfits were 9 feet tall, 7 feet wide, and weighed 40 pounds each, with fiber optic lights controlled by a computerized laser. One jacket was fitted with a battery belt generating 3,000 volts to light the 36 strobe lights on it. Another had hidden flaps to conceal explosive effects. 1,000 yards of fabric from Europe was used to make the costumes, including a black and gold outfit for Jackson which included 18 karat gold. The costumes alone cost $2 million. The show incorporated various stage illusions. Among them was the toaster, 
effect where Jackson entered the stage on a rapidly rising catapult from underneath, sending off pyrotechnics at the same time. His sister Janet Jackson said, "...that opening was kick-ass. I'm sitting in the sound tower and all the kids are everywhere. And when he jumped out of whatever the hell that thing was... the kids in front of me were looking back and I didn't even know it." Most of the 1992 shows included a stage trick during the transition from Thriller to Billy Jean, whereby Jackson walks into two pillars and is secretly switched with a werewolf masked backup dancer while he changes outfits for Billy Jean. The masked Jackson is placed into a coffin which disappears when dancers posing as skeletons and zombies drape a cloth over the coffin and pull it out. Jackson then appears on an upper stage level and sings, Billy Jean. When the full trick was not performed, it featured a sequence with the Jackson impersonator and the backup dancers performing dances from Thriller. <laughs> the show The original set list for the 1992 leg featured The Way You Make Me Feel and Bad, but these were taken out after the eighth concert in Oslo, Norway. However, these two songs were returned for the performances in Tokyo, Japan. During the Europe leg in 1992, MTV was allowed to film backstage and broadcast six 15-minute episodes of the tour. The show was called The Dangerous Diaries and was presented by Sonia Saul. MTV released footage of Billy Jean and Black or White at the first show in Munich. Billy Jean was released with two different versions, one by MTV as a special, and the other on the Dangerous Diaries documentary. Both versions have placed a snippet of Jackson's original a cappella recording for Billy Jean over the live vocals when Jackson throws his fedora. The October 1, 1992 concert in Bucharest, Romania was filmed for broadcast on the HBO network on October 10. Jackson sold the film rights for the concert for $20 million, then the highest amount for a concert performer to appear on television. The special earned Jackson the second of two Cablis Awards of his career, this one for Outstanding Performance Musical Special, the Toulouse, France concert performed on September 16, 1992 featured a special instrumental performance of the first half of the song, In the Closet, as an interlude between the songs, Heal the World, and Man in the Mirror. Princess Stephanie of Monaco, who was the mystery girl in the actual song, was in attendance at this concert. This concert marked the first and only time that this song was performed during this tour, although it was performed on his next tour history. On December 31, 1992 during the New Year's Eve concert in Tokyo, Japan, Slash made a special guest appearance for the performance of Black or White. Slash also made a special appearance for Black or White at the concert in Oviedo, Spain in September 1992, and last concert in Spain September 26, 1993 in Santa Cruz de Tenerife Canary Islands. The September 1, 1993 concert in Singapore was scheduled for August 30, 1993 but was rescheduled due to Jackson collapsing before the show. During his visit to Moscow in September, Jackson came up with the song, 
Stranger in Moscow, which would be released on his 1995 album History, Past, Present and Future, Book I. It was during a time when Jackson felt very alone, far away from his family and friends, yet every night throughout his tours fans would stay by his hotel and support him. Topic. Super Bowl XXVII halftime show Unlike many previous years, Jackson was the only performer in the entire Super Bowl XXVII halftime show. The show started with Jackson dancing on certain jumbotrons, followed by impersonators that posed on top of the screen, which gave the illusion of Jackson moving from one side of the stadium to the other. Then Jackson himself catapulted on stage and simply stood frozen in front of the audience. Jackson's set consist of a medley, jam, with the beginning being an excerpt from Why You Wanna Trip On Me, Billie Jean, and Black or White. The finale featured an audience card stunt, a video montage showing Jackson participating in various humanitarian efforts around the world, and a choir of 3,500 local Los Angeles area children singing, We Are the World, later joining Jackson as he sang his single, Heal the World. It was the first Super Bowl where the audience figures increased during the halftime show. Jackson was chosen to boost interest and viewership. In 1992, a live episode of In Living Color drew higher ratings than the halftime show, prompting NFL and Fox television officials to look at signing high level talent to perform. Jackson originally asked a $1 million fee to perform. The NFL, which normally only pays the expenses for performers, instead donated $100,000 to Jackson's Heal the World Foundation. Topic. Set list Topic. Opening acts Chris Cross Rosala TLC Denfluence England Snap Bucharest Culture Beat 1993 European dates Topic Tour dates Topic Broadcasts and Recordings All concerts were professionally filmed by Nocturne Productions Inc., which filmed all of Jackson's tours and private affairs. During the 1992 European leg of the tour, MTV was given permission to film backstage reports, interview the cast and film live performance. The mini-show was hosted by Sonia Saul and had six, 15-minute mini-episodes of concerts in Munich, Wurcher, Dublin, Hamburg, Cardiff, London, Leeds, Berlin, Oviedo and Madrid. Performances include Billie Jean, Black or White, Jam, Wanna Be Startin' Something, and Will You Be There. The concert in Bucharest on October 1, 1992, was filmed and broadcast on television all across the world, giving HBO the highest rating garnered in cable TV history, with an unedited version airing on BBC. The concert film titled Live in Bucharest, The Dangerous Tour was officially released on DVD on July 25, 2005. <laughs> Topic. Personnel <laughs> 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 
Topic: Musical. Don't Stop Till You Get Enough is a jukebox musical that will premiere on 2019 and later on Broadway in 2020. The show takes audiences behind the scenes as Michael prepares for the 1992 Dangerous Tour, providing an in-depth look at his process. As Michael and his collaborators rehearse their epic setlist, we are transported to pivotal creative moments from his career. The show is set to feature over 25 of Michael Jackson's biggest hits. <laughs>